which day is God's Sabbath? Has time been lost? Has the weekly cycle been changed? Here's what the Bible says. In Exodus 16, 14 to 31, God worked a miracle by providing manna for his people in the desert. No manna appeared on the Sabbath. Therefore, God's people were instructed to gather a double portion on the sixth day and not gather it on the seventh day. This was the only day the manna would not spoil when kept overnight. The Israelites have since kept this weekly Sabbath every seventh day as God commanded. And the day they kept throughout the centuries is the day we call Saturday. If time had been lost between the Exodus and the earthly ministry of Jesus, he would have corrected it. After all, John 1, 1 through 3 and 14, Hebrews 1, 1 and 2, and Colossians 1, 16, all proclaim that Jesus is the creator of all things, and this would include the Sabbath. At the time of Jesus' crucifixion, the Bible identifies which day is the seventh day Sabbath. Luke states in Luke 23, 50 through 56, and 24, 1 through 3, that Jesus was laid in the tomb on the preparation day. Then they went home to prepare spices and ointments and rested on the Sabbath according to the commandment. On the first day of the week, they brought the spices and ointments to anoint Jesus' body, but found the tomb empty, because our Lord rose early on the first day of the week. Jesus was crucified and laid in the tomb on the preparation day, which is Friday, the sixth day of the week. The Sabbath is the day which follows, Saturday, the seventh day, and Jesus' resurrection was Sunday, the first day. Time has not been lost since the crucifixion of Jesus, and the weekly cycle has not changed. God never changed the day of worship. Hebrews 4, 1-11 tells us the Sabbath still remains today, and Isaiah 66, 22-24, tells us the Sabbath will be kept in heaven and on the earth made new. God's seventh-day Sabbath is Saturday. Exodus 20, 8-10 says, Remember the Sabbath day to keep it holy. Six days shalt thou labor and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. In it thou shalt not do any work. Free book offer for The Great Controversy. Simply email stmedia.co at gmail.com. Inside the continental United States, provide name and address for the hard copy while supplies last. Outside the continental United States, you will receive the PDF version by return email. Please do not request this book if you already have a copy in your home.